Question 9. Which sample measured at room temperature and pressure contains the greatest number of particles? Well, the number of particles in a mole is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 Avogadro's constant. So if I work out the number of moles, and every mole has the same number of particles, we can change the question around by saying, therefore, whichever one has the greatest number of moles will have the greatest number of particles. So let's, let's work out the number of moles. So to work out moles, moles is mass divided by MR. MR of hydrogen H2 is 2, so 1 divided by 2, 0 .5, 0 0.5 moles of hydrogen in answer A. Helium has got a mass number of four. Helium atoms are in group eight or group zero. They've got full outer shells. They don't bond with anything. Uh, they've got an MR of four. Uh, so moles is one divided by four, 0.25 moles. And now you, the, here you need to know at room temperature and pressure, any gas, doesn't matter whether it's hydrogen or helium, 24 decimeter cubed is one mole. So one decimeter cubed is 24 one divided by 24th of a mole. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's hydrogen, helium or any other gas. So your answer is A has the largest number of moles and therefore the largest number of particles. Five grams of an oxide of molybdenum contains four grams of molybdenum. So I can look up the MR of molybdenum, 95.95. I can work out the number of moles of molybdenum in this oxide. Um, uh, mass divided by MR is 4 divided by 95.95, 0.042. I know that there's 1 gram of oxygen in this oxide because there's 5 grams of the oxide and 4 grams of molybdenum. So 1 gram of the oxide, moles is mass divided by MR. 1 divided by the uh, mass of an oxygen atom is 16, 0.0625. So that's the ratio of uh, molybdenum to oxygen. Divide by the small number, 0.042 divided by 0.42. I've got one molybdenum, one molybdenum to a ratio of 0.0625 divided by 0.42 to 1.5 oxygen, 2 to 3, MO203, answer C.